and I'm going to assume that it sounds amazing. Much better. Well, that's good to hear. Yo-ho! Hey, how's it going, Blacktastic? So, hopefully you're going to be at AGDQ and we can actually hang out for more than, like, five minutes. It was a huge blast meeting you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the dev shop. I assume by dev shop you mean the, the debug merchant. But I figure... I'd like to uh, to submit this game to AGDQ. And interesting glitches are, are one of those things that certainly don't hurt. And going to the debug merchant leads to uh, yeah, bad movement. Leads to a really cool glitch later on, so. It was slightly faster than normal. And everything else about this section was really bad. 315. Ugh. Uh, Panzer Dave, I think that. At least two of us who did the blind playthrough immediately jumped off off the left right from the start. Um, I know I did. I think that Auth said that he did as well. I forget. Almost, that almost was the fast strap. Off did, and then you went back and did it as well after, after we both said that we did it. That's awesome. Well, 
Now we know uh, Panzer Dave's answer to if all your friends were jumping off of a bridge. Wow, that was entirely my fault, but still not good. After this run, I'm going to make a save so that I can just figure out how to get that high bounce. Because right now it feels random, and random's not, not really how I want it to feel. Get on the... Alright, well, I got punished a little bit there. Not gonna make that. Yo, Amelius, how's it going? Alright, let's get the quick kill. Oh, this sucks. It's a terrible fight. I'm glad to hear that things are going well. Oh man, we're gonna be like... Plus a lot. We're gonna be plus a lot here. Hey, Fjellis, how's it going? Really bad run, so this is very much a warm up run. Oh, 
And I'm glad that I'm glad to hear that you're you're feeling better. Going better than my run. Wow. Wow, the call outs. So precise.
Oh god. No, 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 no. If you time that well, uh, you don't have to. You don't have to use Peppy there. You can just sprint through the entire room. Uh, if you time it poorly, however, um, you take damage and you feel really silly for it. Icelandic beaches have volcanoes, that's for sure. I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that even a little bit. Hey, hey, Glitch Garden, how's it going? Congratulations on your, your fantastic success in being a computery person.
yeah, this stage has really good music. There's a couple of others that are just fantastic. It's really good luck in that RNG corridor. I'm never gonna get that RNG again. I don't know why she didn't grab the rope. here just in time for an extremely disappointing warm-up run. Glad to hear that you're doing well. Yeah, that's fair. Let's get this one shot. I didn't even know that there is a lava bubble there. All right, so we're probably gonna come out of this like plus 30. That's a bummer. Maybe worse. Probably plus 30. Oh my gosh. Plus 35 now. Yo, Fleck, how's it going? Thanks for the good luck. actually not as bad as I had really expected. Not good, but not bad.
we can be on really good pace if I get bucket skip. My last PB didn't get it. Uh, this is the first attempt, so it's a... I'd say it's going okay for a warm-up run. whistle right before you hit the water and then Peppy will basically stay on top of you. It's a minor speed up, but a speed up nonetheless. So this game only came out in Japan. Um, the other Monster World series games didn't really do very well in the US, so they, ne they never bothered porting it. Which is too bad. It's, it's really one of those... It, it's a hidden gem on the Genesis. Hey, Kiraneko, thank you very much for the good luck. All right, it's time to attempt bucket skip. Probably not gonna get it, it's really tough. Yeah, we got it. That saves like a minute. Normally we'd have to go through an entire one more loop of the in the whole circuit to get that water. whistle here. That, that never feels like a spot where you have to whistle, but whistling definitely saves you a, a couple seconds there. Whistling before you go into that series of pipes. 
once you're already in the waterway, it's too late to whistle. was a terrible boss fight. That ostrich should not lay any eggs. Mid-boss. Cycles are weird now. Well, that's a time loss. Well. That was a pretty rough boss fight, but we got there.
yeah, not not too terrible a time. Uh, the Sphinx can still ruin our day, though. Basically, at this point, I have to go hard in the, uh, the Ice Pyramid skip for a, a PB to be possible at all. And the Sphinx still has to play nice. Uh, if this run were the world record, it would take one hour and one minute or less. Don't worry though, we're not we're not in any danger of, of there being a world record on this this run. Cyclone is ridiculously good. Like the current world record is is really really impressive. just realized that, no, it, it does still save time, but it's not as much as I had previously thought. The strat that I'm doing, assuming that I get the infinite jump first try. I had previously assumed that it saved a lot more time than I currently think that it does. Oh yeah, the Sphinx can easily ruin my day. Hey, we got it first try. Slice Mage. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I hope that you are as well. Go. 
You know, it took me longer than I than I care to admit to figure out what people meant when they they were playing PUBG. So the way that I initially parsed that was pickup group, like a pickup group in poker or you know some sort of board game. Oh, off! Since you're here, I've got a, a mnemonic for this now, uh, which. Uh, works pretty okay. It is the phrase, those bad oats. T-H-O-S for turtle, hound, owl, sparrow. Bad is misspelled, but uh, bird, angel, owl, unfortunately. Um, dog. And then oats for owl, angel, turtle, sparrow. I found that that works pretty okay for... Oh, hey. Let's... No, I shouldn't do that. No! I ran right past it. Rip a few seconds there. I found that that works pretty well for helping me remember the the orders of the statues. Plunk bat. I I don't know plunk bat. Definitely another uh, another way to acronymize it. So easy to accidentally slide past the uh, the doors.
deserve that. I need to start making more use of jumps. Jumps when you're otherwise stationary on ice are going the opposite direction. Impact your velocity much, much more than trying to just immediately start a run. because we're not in the third pyramid. That's embarrassing. That's how much I want to be past the, uh... The Sphinx. It's fine. on pace, somehow. Nope. That was just the... Does the lamp spirit like his job? And the answer is no. The two lamp spirit questions are really similar, which is uh, what usually throws me off. Great, but nice.
Yeah, 88, that sounds about right. Definitely sounds like something I would say. I whistled way too late. I think one of the most interesting things about this game is how it forces me to either play like a normal person plays with a gamepad, or for inputs that involve a lot of jumping with uh, heavy, I have to claw because I have to use A and C. So that's a, a reasonable <laughs> control layout. Or, for even more fun, for infinite jumps, I basically hold the, uh, the controller so that I can use my first three fingers on my right hand for the buttons, as if it's a, uh, no, no way. Oh, come on. There we go. But yeah, as if it's an arcade control, uh, for the, the infinite jump. And to date, this is the only game that's gotten me to use a controller three different ways. Like, normal and claw is... is normal. Um, for a couple of games, I cross up two of my... Uh, cross up my thumbs, or switch the way that I'm holding the controller a little bit. For, like, uh... Risky Shuffle in Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, or uh, for the Fish Fly in the Dragon's Trap. But yeah, this is this is the game that got me to use the controller three separate ways. Why not just use an arcade stick? Uh, that sounds like something that some of my my wackier friends would do. see if we can get this boss quickly. This is a really tough boss to do fast. Well, that's the fastest that I've ever done that boss.
way faster than killing that dude. But his movement's kind of annoying to manipulate. Specifically, it's going to take a long time to take enough damage to uh, to trigger the next cutscene. Oh, hey, we're going to be starting the final dungeon before the world record's up. That's awesome. Hey, Lily. Ah, uh, I have not gotten that delivery yet, so... I, I will not be playing Splatoon tonight. I will be playing Monster World 4. Oh, this is good. Yeah, no, this is exactly what I wanted in that room. Be 
ship. wasn't the worst, but that wasn't super great. That was a terrible fight. Apparently I just can't fight that dude anymore. That was a fucking amazing fight. That fight went really well. I feel like that was a pretty good warm-up run. 
like I don't I don't feel pretty I, I don't feel bad about that warm up run at all. Yeah, that was. I'm not gonna be upset about a minute and a half PB on a warm up run. Yeah, I think I might be warmed up. So how is everyone doing today? Oh, that's awesome. I hope that you have fun playing D&D. Yeah, but Auth, you, for some inexplicable reason, appear to actually enjoy playing Bubsy 3. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Today's gone... I'd say today has been above average. Uh, well... The first half of today was a continuation of a couple of days worth of fighting with uh, Cabal and GHC and some weird changes that Arch made to the standard GHC distribution, which finally led to me getting sick of, of leaning on Arch's package management and just using uh, a stack provided GHC as my global GHC. But the problem is solved, and that means that I can continue developing software in Haskell, which makes me very, very happy. And then I got a PB, so hard to complain. <laughs> 